If your tomatoes are splitting or cracking from the side or the top, we're going to tell you how to fix or prevent this problem and even why it happened. It's not hard or complicated that a lot of people think it is. It's the main, the number one main reason, it's water. It depends how you're watering. A lot of people water, don't water on time. And if you don't say an example, you didn't water for like three, four days, it's really hot, it's summertime, your plant is stressed out and it doesn't have any water. So if it down, if the rain comes down, it will be a hard rain all day long. Your plant observes so much water expanding and bursting the fruit. So that could be a problem. Or if it didn't rain and you didn't water for four or five days and then you come and you hold the hose and you're watering for your, or you have your sprinkler system and you left it on for like 30 minutes long, you're over watering it right there and then an expanding and bursting the fruit. So say for example, you didn't water for four days, come and water lightly and then come back the next two days and water lightly. Try to stick with a schedule. And don't forget, if your tomatoes is close to red, it's like orange, you could still pick your tomatoes, leave it on the countertop, and it will turn red. Another thing would be is lack of calcium. Lack of calcium will cause easily split and also uh, rotten at the bottom. If your tomatoes turn black and rotten at the bottom too, it's lack of calcium. Increase your calcium, whatever source you want to do. I use organic garden line. Even if you add in fertilizer, I would still advise you to increase your calcium. If you add fertilizer on Monday, come back Wednesday, Thursday, increase your calcium. Increase your calcium every two weeks, three weeks, add a little bit to your plant. Tomato plant definitely need a lot. What you could do is add mulch to your tomato plant so this will keep the water and keep the plant moist so it's not gonna get like too dried out. So uh, mulching your tomatoes definitely good. You could do like a two inch layer, two and a half. Uh, you don't wanna do too much because you wanna make sure you get a good airflow there too. So And now uh, we're getting into fall garden. Most of my summer crops are coming out the end so I'm just gonna remove all my summer crops and bring in fall crops right now. And I'm really excited because I'm a big fan of fall garden. So if you're new, welcome to Green Tea Garden. Don't forget to like, subscribe, it's free, 100% free to join Green Tea Garden. And for everyone who's been watching, thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.